What's up? What's up? It's another wonderful Good. day in this wonderful world. And it's your boy, Good. Uncle Beats, in the streets like white lines on the corner like a stop sign. With who? The one and only who? <laughs> It's your boy Snap G, the world's most famous and well-known professional sucker ducker. Get out the way. You understand? Get out the way. Y'all know the routine. Y'all know the routine. Okay. If you want us to be all right, hit the like. Hit the likes. If you want us to survive, hit the subscribe. Subscribe. You know, and if you really care, hit the share. Hey, you know what, man? Just wipe yeah. your feet when you come in the house. <laughs> Press the like button, man. Smash that like, huh? Don't you just come in here brazen and don't nobody know you're here. Let us know you're here, man. Let us know you're here. Like that, that, I mean, you should have better manners than that, man. They, they should be raised better than that. Let us know you're in the Yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Say something, you know. I got a... Uh, I got we got all the comments figured out today. Definitely, uh, when y'all see this on social media, or YouTube, or however you get us, definitely let us know what y'all think we should give our perspective about. Because that's definitely what it's about giving our perspective. Yeah. Like I said, this week though, we really um just building some background with y'all. Now y'all know how we get down. Um, eight thirty gonna be the time y'all could catch. Hood hierarchy streaming, eight thirty p.m. p.m. We about to start bringing in some of our special guests, you know, um, famous rappers, um, hood legends. Some y'all done heard about, some y'all ain't heard about. We're yeah. gonna we're gonna do it all. We're gonna bring in rappers that's on the come up that, that, that we approve of, that we can put our stamp on them. Um, we're going to bring in some strippers to it. <laughs> <laughs> but but we, we definitely bringing in all the hustlers. They got to be from the hood. They got to they gotta have a perspective of what's going on. Y'all work with us. You know, we just um two, two fellas from Chicago just trying to make us a living, man. We ain't nothing, we ain't nothing special, living, man. man. So. Just trying to make a living. So a question that I put out from our other interview, I said, did the OGs destroy the neighborhood? And I got, we got mixed responses, different people. Um, shout out to my homie Mook. We got different responses. So I want to ask you, when you was coming up in the hood, because you know, everybody say they took the structure away. Exactly what Mook said, I don't have it in front of me. But he said the feds took all the OGs and messed up the structure. So I want to ask you, what did the OGs do for you coming up, man? Well, I mean, you could say it's good, but at the same time, it was bad. I considered it good, but... I'm man, I'm talking about it's hard to say because so many things went on to where you just can't pinpoint one. That I mean, as far as what they did for me, mm. truth and honestly, only few ever done anything for me. Rest in peace to my dude Dan Tanner. You know, he was one of the OGs. Right. Um uh, Rest in peace to my dude, Shorty J. You know, right. he was one of the OGs, even though, you know, he was killed at, how old was he, like 24? Yeah, like that. So around yeah, that. He, 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 was, he was young. He was young. Yeah, he got killed when he was 24. So, I mean, I, I learned a lot from them guys, you know what I'm saying? Um, a a, a, a some good habits, most bad habits. Right. So, man, you, don't have to, you don't really have to elaborate now, man. I was trying to be in and out, but you didn't, you, <laughs> you just <laughs> named 
Um, That's why I be telling people, like, I don't know if we should be doing names. Because now I got to speak on what I know of these guys, man. And you just name. I'm trying to, I'm trying to say this politely because I don't want to ruffle no feathers and upset nobody. But you just named two certified, bona fide, qualified. I'm gonna just call them shooters. Hey, I I, I got more. I'm just uh, so I'm, what, I'm only what, I'm only I'm right only now. mentioning those two because those two are not with us anymore. Okay, but that I'm saying the so. What if, what is something they did for you that like how they say they took the structure off the street and it's messed up? What's something what? they showed you that would help today if, if you if a if a young cat was getting that? Okay. What what Dan Taylor taught me, what? he showed me love. Feel what I'm saying? Right. Every time I came around him, right. He ain't show number right. love. He used to give me the keys to his car. Right. I'm a shorty. I ain't got no business driving. He know I ain't got no license. This thing got rims on it and everything. I'm talking about nice and clean. You remember them nine eights? That he had. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember that nine eight. Yeah, I well, I he had been. two of them. He had a big body when he had a short body. I, I'm, I'm talking about the short body. I, I wouldn't have felt comfortable driving it though, because you know I liked living back then. But keep going. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we 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 didn't care, but you know what I'm saying. He just he just showed me a lot of love, and I ain't really never got that type of love. From the OG. Now other OGs showed me love, but he like Dantana was like up and personal with it. Right. See what I'm saying? Somebody, me being 14 or 15 or something like that, that I can, hey G, I need you. I'm downtown. I need you. You know what I'm saying? Right. It, well, making nah, me I, feel I, I feel you cause I you know, you know that later. My brother married his niece, so you know they kind of end up being my uncle through marriage too. Just, just more, you know, more, more, more interesting uh, fun facts. But uh, love is important, though. I gotta say, if so, for somebody to teach you that, cool. Now, um, like what, what else? What else do you do, do you think somebody showed you in the hood? That if a, if they did that for a young dude right now that's in the street, it would it would change the way they move. Oh, uh, uh, oh, how about when I had a friend, right? You know what uh, I'm saying. I used to be on the block a lot playing basketball and stuff, you know, out there. Yeah. How about somebody scooping me up and putting me in the studio, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow. You know wow. what I'm saying? That'll change somebody's life, you know? Because, like, for real, bro, and for the record, I'm talking about him. That's what he did with me. But, uh, Man, bro, them, them, them. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure they taught us some good things. That we could but, but, carry but, for real, life, G, bro, but it's the bad outweighs the good. It's almost amazing to me that you just said that, because you know, at the end of the day, the OGs in the hood, they didn't teach me nothing valuable, man. I'm gonna just tell you the truth. You know, like I was telling Mook, I say, all they really ever did for me was taught taught me how to break the law. Nothing, nothing, nothing legally. Nobody ever said like, hey, like he said, they told him to go to school. Nobody ever said like, hey, we're gonna show you how to get in college. And it's like, now my big brother, I thought he was crazy. I'm saying watching him making all type of money doing stuff. And he telling me like, I mean, I'm having a time of my life hanging with this dude. And he say, Man, I'm finna sell all my stuff and go to college. Go back to college. And I'm like, go back to college. They're like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm gonna be a teacher. You should try it. And uh, you get all the holidays off, some off. Man, you can't beat it. And I'm looking, I'm like, man, this dude is nuts. 
And like, I don't even know if I ever want to talk to him again. But he went to he went to school, <laughs> and now he's a teacher. So I'm just saying, man. But the homies my age, not the big homies. The homies my age. It's like I got more. I got that extra love. Cause you know I didn't have no little brothers and then I was the youngest. Like I said before, my whole family. I just got that love. I just got that. We we learned like, like you said, if I wanted to play basketball, I'm learning from I'm learning from them. What I think, what, and I can say this. You know, I had some real heavies in my family back in the day that had the product. Nobody ever gave me a, a dime rock. They ain't never give me nothing and say, hey, get you some money. They never even wanted me to be a part of that at all. Never. Until I got grown, maybe. But they never they never preached that to me. They always told me, like, that's going to mess you up. But it's just, uh, it's just crazy that you said the same thing because I really <laughs> felt like I got more from my homies my age. What I do think the feds took out the neighborhood – you never hear about the kids going to the pool no more. You used to do all type of stuff at the park. They had community centers. No, hey, hey, no, nah, bro. Um, PlayStation and Xbox did that. Right, PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? Did that. Now these, you know? these kids and and, and and listen, pay attention. Mm -hmm. Look at how these little dudes is built nowadays. Mm -hmm. All of them is skinny enough to get in them jeans, man. <laughs> they all some little, I'm talking about some little frail dudes, bro. Right. Growing right. up in the house, sheltered, playing video games. I agree. End up going outside. And of course, kids is much influenced by other kids. You know what? Speaking of speaking of being a small, a small kid, what was it like for you the first time you went into the county? Like around how old was you? First time you hit the county. Yeah. Uh, good. Cook County, and that's I'm, I'm sure they say Cook County is worse. The first than time I went when I was in the county was the age that you start, which was right. 17. Soon as I was, soon as I turned, soon as I was ready, I was able. Right. Uh, my first case was a possession. Um, it was uh, armed violence. Right. It was a possession of a forty-five caliber pistol. Right. And forty-seven dime bags of marijuana <laughs> with Philly blunts taped on the side of the blunt uh, of each dime. Oh, bag. You had, oh okay, yeah. <laughs> hey man, don't uh, be giving nobody yeah. no um marketing um ideas, man. man hey, <laughs> hey, hey, man, Shorty J, man, Shorty J had me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Man, you do it like this, G. That's how you should do it. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Like, I ain't even get to show the Jay about what you asked uh, me. We, we, Offer we to did, a whole other thing we right now. I definitely, Shorty J, his brother, people like that. We definitely gonna talk about them doing. Yeah, we we we, 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 we gonna, we gonna we get to them another day. But back we to this, do a whole podcast on people like them though. Yeah, we'll keep on going. But back to this though. Uh, my first time. It was for a armed violence. I got caught with a 45 and 47 bags of weed. I took the police on a 45-minute flee. Right. Uh, uh, the West Inglewood part of 63rd. Right. Um, thought I got away, but uh, I thought I was slick. I hid up under this porch, and right. the dogs started barking next door to me, and they wouldn't shut up. <laughs> and the police was in the alley. They was about to give up because I hear them, but they called me, and yeah. that that was that. Now, my second case. No, I want to. I'm gonna stop right here. Like when you walk. No, no, because I went to the county for that, but that it was it was it was it was. So cool. you were in and out. Yeah, I was in and out. But look, okay. right. this happened about nine months later. Right. Second case, I get caught for attempt murder. Right. Uh, game banging, basically. I don't want to feel like I don't want to get into details of what happened and all that. Right. But I get caught for that. 
um, get locked up. Right. This is when you used to have to see the dick doctor when you went to the county. This is then. I don't know if they still <laughs> right. doing it now. Hey, did you they get still... paid off of that when they did the... Uh, no, I ain't get a dime. Nope. Oh, okay. I'd have yeah, been stuck know. about three times. Right. You missed the money. Damn. They did a class action lawsuit and people got paid for that. But keep on going. We, I don't want to get in too much about you, Jimmy, you know. Yeah. Uh, anyway... You can Google that. Right. Yeah, but any, anyway, man, uh, that shit there. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm in a bullpen, and me and my rappy, the 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 guy who who got caught with me, right? Right. Me and my rappy, we see a dude sitting next to he he in a bullpen with us. Right. He coming he coming from the deck, but he going to court. Right. So we going to the deck. But we all in court together, and then we see a dude, right? And he got a punky head. And I'm like, damn, bro, look at the dude, look at the dude. He like, man, I said, boy, I bet he GD. He said, why you say that? All <laughs> these GDs get found punky head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we go to court, we get back, you know what I'm saying? They put us, this when they first opened Division 11. Oh, okay. They very first open Division Eleven. Yeah, the deck was brand new. Right. They they took us. They took us to Division Eleven. Uh, dude was on our deck, and yes, dude was GD. Right. And come to find out, he got beat up because he ran when the deck went up. Oh wow! But we get there and like beats. I'm telling you, man. When them folks said nine to forty-five, mm -hmm. your case carry nine to forty-five. You're not even thinking about the nine, right? <laughs> yeah, you just yeah, like forty-five, right? You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. Like they put us on the deck together. Okay. They didn't even separate us, right? You know what I'm saying? So we go to the deck. It was probably about seven GDs on that deck that we went right. to. They never came out to sale. And when we get Big Baby on here, we gonna talk about this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So who was the who was the majority in them? It was the, it was majority vice lords and you know right. stones, Latin kings and stuff like that. It was only seven GDs on this deck, right? Right. But we get on the deck, but we fresh out the street like super game bangers. Right. Super. You hear me? Anyway, we get up in there. Uh, they had these little cheers, some little great cheers that people sat on, but the folks could never get to the cheers. Right. So the folks would have to stand up all day and while they sitting down. So right. right before we locked up, I think BC told me, he like, hey, when they lock us up, G, we taking two chairs in our cell. <laughs> I'm like, hell yeah, shit. What was that? I'm mean, like, and that's what we did. So while they talking about lock, lock it up, the police come on the deck, holler, lock it up. We carrying the chairs and doing them, looking like, man, what doing them on? We on the new. So, the so I, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand this. Are you saying? The job was comfortable. Did you was comfortable in there? Listen to me. We went on the deck. Didn't have no numbers. Right. No numbers. Actually, at this time, we didn't even know who was who and how many was anything at this month of the time. Right. But we took the chairs in the sale. And the dude who had the deck for the GDs, you know what right. I'm saying? He come running to our cell like, man, folks, man, G, what y'all on? Because we locked the door. <laughs> Boom. We holler at y'all and count over with. Right. You know what I'm saying? And we up, we up in the we up in the cell chilling. We got our feet up on the chairs, like we'll holler at y'all and count over with. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, gee, I might keep this in here. They hot. Right. But long story short, as soon as the doors roll. You heard some, some, you know, you heard a few people out there woofing. Woo, woo, woo. Right. Woo, 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 woo. Right. So I got tired of it, and I threw the chairs down the stairs. I threw mine down. BC kept his. I said, right. you want this chair? 
blow, blow, blow. I just wanted to make a lot of noise. Right. I ain't care about the chill, but I just want to let but, make but, a lot but, of noise to let them you, know. You're doing that to like make them see you was tough or like that like, too. Why? But okay. I just wanted to make a lot of noise to <laughs> let them know that whatever y'all was doing to the current GDs on this deck, right? That is today, right? Until they ship me and this dude off right. to the penitentiary, Don't that is. Shanks. Gonna be some changes, a new sheriff. In it's town, gonna be huh? some changes, buddy. <laughs> right. And look, me and BC so bogus. Right. We, you, oh, we gonna skip back to this, back, bro. We was making little scullies out of, um, uh, you know, if you cut the sleeve of your thermo, right. thermo shirt, right. cut the sleeve off. We was right. making scullies and we putting insane on them, <laughs> and we breaking them off to the left. And we right. walking around the deck like that all day, just right. irritating some of everybody. Like, bro, we was crazy. But, so, ba so basically, you made it work. Made it work, bro. Made it work. Well, well, my experience was quite different. The one and only time that I ended up in Cook County Jail, I, I was I was probably about thirty one. I'm good and grown. So, I go to traffic court out in Markham, right? So, um, I had got a ticket. I was driving Deontay truck, like, on Christmas, and I couldn't find his insurance card. So, by the time I called him, like, and he told me what the insurance card that dude that gave me the ticket, uh, you just got to come to court. So, I come to court. Um, me and my baby mama, I come to court. So they give me my license back. So um, I'm like, man. So dude, like, what's the problem? You got your license back. I ain't even have to talk to the judge or nothing. I'm like, man, do, do white people drive through Matson? Everybody ain't cool. black. The only white person came with me except you and the police. So uh, the judge's like, what's his problem? And I was like, I just, I just asked him. The white people drive through Madison. Everybody who got a uh who in here is black. So she's like, oh, do you know how hard it is to administer the law? You know, she don't know who she's dealing with. I like, man, I don't care about this. She's like, shut up. You shut up. So she explaining how they can't tell who's white or black or whatever. So she's like, do you understand that? So I don't say nothing. I say, do, do you understand what I'm saying? So I ain't say nothing. So she Say something. I say, hey, you just told me to shut up. So the court just starts cracking up, right? I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. She was like, hey, get out of my courtroom. So I do the George Jefferson walk. Everybody cracking, Everybody cracking up. Shouldn't have gave me an audience. So Straight up. Now they uh, everybody cracking up, right? So she's lock them up. Lock them up. So they grab me. And I really don't care. Cause baby mama just got her income taxes. I'm fresh out. I'm fresh. I got on fresh Gucci. You can't tell me nothing, right? Like, <laughs> it ain't no bond that y'all got that's gonna be able to hold me. So they they got uncomfortable, like, hey, it's about an hour later, like, the judge just wants you to come apologize to her. You can go home. I said, y'all yeah, might as well get my lunch ready because that ain't never finna happen. So, um, <laughs> not, not my hey, baby I swear mama. to God, I believe you, man. I she believe ain't met you, no man. one, none of my family yet, though. I so can see you, kind of way, she, oh, we still had the house phones then. She called my mama. She tell my mama what's going on. She like, yeah, they, they said they'll let him out at uh, 4 o'clock if he apologizes. And my mama said, oh, yeah, he going to the county then because he ain't never going to apologize. She's like, that's cool. That's <laughs> and sure enough, it comes. I don't apologize. So they're like, hey, the judge won't talk to you. I'm like, man, I'm not even going back in the courtroom. Y'all can take me to the county. But I'm knowing I'm going to get bonded out. So... I'm taking that ride. I'm starting to think this is a bad decision because I'm on the bus with all the uh, dudes that have caught cases out in the south suburbs and 
they are was definitely harder than me, right? So I was like, man. <laughs> so now I get in the bullpen. Little dudes in there arguing with each other, all type of stuff. I'm like, what have I gotten myself into? So now they wasn't doing the doctor no more, but you still go to medical. So they pulled me out to the side. I'm like, oh, she must have made paid that bond. I'm out of here. She pulled me off to they pulled me off to the side. They say my blood pressure high. So they take me like to medical. So I'm like, I don't even have high blood pressure. What's going on? So I'm like, well, she just come get me. So now I'm sitting, listening to stories, this and that. So they take me to the nurse. The nurse trying to like, she's like, hey, take this pill. I'm like, I'm not taking that. So uh, she brings some guards in. Like, hey, you, you a troublemaker? I'm like, man, I'm not taking that. I don't know if that's a birth control pill. I don't know what that is. You don't just put no pill on my face talking about take it. And I'm like, y'all not going to make me take it. So they made me go sit. So I'm sitting. So now they got me talking to a counselor. <laughs> she like, so she like, yeah, you got to have blood pressure. And, and I'm like, I, I say, well, you ever really thought what my real problem is? And she's like, what? I say, you know the difference between me and everybody else in the jail? Because now it's nighttime. I know it's late. She's like, well, I say. Everybody in here know what they would been arrested for and know what they bond is. I don't. So she said, oh, okay. She put us, oh, told the judge, uh, you in here for contempt of court. And I'm like, okay, so why ain't I bought it out yet? She said, uh, you got to do two days. I said, <laughs> so I'm like, two days? I'm like, huh? I'm like, what? So now I'm like, oh, no. No, no. So I'm like, two days? So she's like, well, it's really only one because you get two. So now they take me in. Now I'm going to the back. So when um they change me out, the guard look at my Gucci shoes and he say, oh, they going to love you back there. Wait, what you mean they going to love me back there? Them shoes. I'm like, they ain't going to love my shoes. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. So now I go back there. It's kind of late, so we have to go in the cell. So I got a I got a white uh dope fiend, Sally. He was cool though. So now we come out for breakfast and I'm talk I'm seeing the little dudes and stuff. So I'm like, oh man, this is I don't know if this is me. Then the dude said, Hey man, don't you be promoting that Adrianos? And I'm like, yeah. He go, oh, man, do it on, man, do it on. So now, a talent show starts instantly. Dudes is rapping to me. Now, this one dude was probably, he probably one of the best rappers I heard to this day. I'm like, man, when I get out of here, man, we going to make something happen. He kind of reminded me of you, right? He's like, yeah, I just got to beat these beat these two bodies in this kidnapping, man, and we can do something. <laughs> Did that remind me of? Did that remind you of me, motherfucker? <laughs> no, nah, his flow. Not, oh, nah, okay. Not his mentality. I'm like, right. is this dude crazy? So now, I'm talking to a dude. <laughs> He's like, I'm like, what you in for, man? So he was in there for domestic. So you know, um, I tell him instantly how I feel about sitting in jail for a broad or whatever. I'm telling him, like, man, yeah, you got to just think it out. He said, now, see, the problem is, I forgot what she said, what he said she was, but he said she know how to get in his head and talk to him. So I'm like, what? He's like, man, I'm finna go call her right now. She talking to me now. So I'm like, what is this dude talking about? That was weird. So now I see everybody hop up, go to get their pills and stuff, right? So I'm like, okay, they gotta, they gotta get pills. So finally. They like doing count. So I asked my Sally, like, man, I was expecting somebody to come screening me, game banging with me. And you know, I heard the stories. He said, Well, you know, it's real smooth on the psych ward. I'm like, the psych ward. That's what they had you at, bro. Like, you don't know you in the psych ward. I'm like, I'm in the psych ward. <laughs> hey. So it finally <laughs> happens when I come out. I'm sitting watching 106 apart, and a dude come up. 
He said, hey, little young dude, hey man, what size is them shoes? So I say, mm, your size, man. Do you do I want to fight? Uh, and I said, I, I, I I'd have just told him your size. No, I thought what I actually told him, I say, oh man, no worry, I don't need your shoes because I take them if I want them, something like that. So he got he got fresh, and I'm like, Mark, you think I? So they break us up. And I'm like, ain't no thing. When they pop the dough, keep that same attitude, little homie. So they they asked him, I'm like, no, don't nobody calm down. When I come out tomorrow, somebody, one of us going to have to die. That's straight what I said. So my said, like, man, man, you really got to change one. I said, hey, man, I'm bonding out of here in the morning, so I'm going to be gone. I ain't working. <laughs> <laughs> the lady didn't already told me I'm getting out at six in the morning. When I was in, I'm like, I'll never see this clown again. <laughs> right, so, uh, so, uh, he like, no disrespect. I, I'm glad you're leaving anyway, Sally, because I'm tired of all the rapping and stuff since you've been here. But yeah, man, they, they had me in the sleep. Oh, one more thing about it, though. So I'm leaving out, right? And the broad, like, I, literally, the door is like right there. I got a sign of paper, walk out the door. So she say, oh, so you cursing out judges? Uh, oh, so you must, oh, you crazy or something? Uh? And guess what I told her? I'm crazy, but I ain't no damn fool. I said, <laughs> oh, God, God. yeah, but. Yeah, man, I I never been back there. Luckily, man, but yeah, they 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 put me in this side. You know what? I gotta ask you something, man. Cause it's the elephant in the room with you, right, man? It's the elephant in the room. Again, I'm not gonna we're not gonna say the names because we ain't we ain't here for that. We're not gonna say the names. Don't let the name slip or none of that stuff. Well, I and, mean. Cause we the we to do something the doors, else, man. They definitely gonna know who we talking about. Well, just let them figure out on their own. Right. I just want to know, man. What was it like? Where and all stuff? I'm gonna say allegedly. Seeing the dude that allegedly snitched on you and got you that time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What was it like to see him? I was, I was, I was muffled. I couldn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? I, I was there when I, when if I would have, if I would have did something, I would have been disrespecting the person who invited me there. Right. See what I'm saying? Cause I would have been making that serious situation about me. Right. When that wasn't about me, that was the main reason why I kept calm. Right. And some of the reason why I kept calm is, you know, I told myself, because I talked to his brother. Right. I told his brother, we ain't going to never be cool, so y'all can stop that. But uh, tell him he did me a favor. He did me a favor, because if he wouldn't have did that, I wouldn't have had nothing I got right now. Period. Wow. Wow. So he did me a favor. I just had to take an X though. You know what I'm saying? Which is something I hate. And that's why he's able. Oh, yeah. When it comes to me now, uh, that's one of the reasons. And, and part of it too is that I like kind of grew up childhood with this dude. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. it would have. It was a hard thing, man. Like, bro, it it was it was tough, and for me I, to be in the county jail with his brother. I, I'm just and asking his brother you that, man. Said out his mouth. You know, I know. You know, I know the backstory. Like you said, I grew up with both of y'all. You know, and people always say. I'm just so tired of the internet and these rappers and these people who in the music business because their friend was a rapper and all this, but they supposed to be a gangster and they just putting stuff out there 
putting stuff out there to people and they know they ain't gonna do nothing you know what i'm saying like i tell you when i saw the dude who's who allegedly had something to do with me i'm uh, catching my fair case did i beat <laughs> i seen him at a funeral at one of his family members funeral i knew he was gonna be there because this is family member film but just because he's like like how you said with the dude's brother I'm not gonna follow out with. I ain't following out with his family just because he did something that I don't like. And I seen him. And it was just like, hey, it's almost like you said. You just made me stronger, cause back then I used to sit back and let this dude do everything, and I only wanted some money. I ain't gonna lie. I wasn't even. I was just in the background, cause really. I just kind of fell back after you went to jail anyway. You know, I was like, you know, I was just more, I was the Kareem, uh, the Kareem Burke sort of situation. Like I was just in the background. So <coughs> I know he loves the limelight. Loved it. And now he can't be in it. And it's just like, it's just crazy. Let's look at the comments real quick, man. We got, uh, we got family checking in, man. Let's see who we got here. We got family checking in. Drew down, what's up, baby? Drewski. Yeah. yeah, Drew said he know that hurt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm sure I'm sure it hurt the guy. No. Um, who else we got? Of course, Vinny Barbarino in the building every time. Yes. You can't go wrong with young Vinny Barbarino. Who yes, is that? Sir. Silas, what's up, Silas? All, all, all my real people checking in. I love it. Hey, D nice, what's, what's up, you? homie? How you doing there, Amber? I, I hope you ain't laughing at our jail stories. Dirty Red, what's up, family? What's good, Drew? Drew in the building. Vinny say Vinny say singing and rapping definitely saved him. So okay, man. I'm a, I'm gonna ask you something else, man. I'm gonna ask you something. What was uh, what was it like when that um? Cause like I remember like when people was walking around with big radios. You remember that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I've seen it on TV, but not in you my neighborhood. Yeah, man. I remember my cousin. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, when, when, folks, when we were break dancing. Yeah, but, yeah, but the dudes with the radio, yeah, 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 the dudes yeah. with the radio was on something though. Yeah. But then I seen on them radios turn to Cadillacs and stuff, man. And it's like that, uh, it's like that epidemic hit, and it's just like, uh, it's just like, um, what was that? What was that like for you, man? Do you remember that? Man, watch the crack, people come up. The 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 the, the, the crack. <laughs> epidemic. It stormed the city of Chicago in the mid '80s. Right. See, in the early '80s, they was free basing. So, but well, like '85. Who was they saying crack then? It seemed like I just remember saying rock. No, 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 no. They was free basing. Right, right, right. So that's just that's just uh, uh the fiend cooking his own dope. You buy it. They, they cook it themselves until somebody else cooked it. Right. And say, hey, we can sell it like this. But right. they was free basing it uh, like in the early 80s. Right. Like then 85, I remember saying, 86, 87. I remember saying ready, ready Rocks. Yeah. And we never but see said, all them saying, they, yeah, they, 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 they probably came out of the 80s. We but never when said it hit, right here, though. What was we saying? We weren't saying crackhead. Well, we used to say bass head, crackhead, uh, hype. I remember saying hypes. They were saying bass head, though, weren't they? Yeah. But I don't remember saying hype most I always time. said that. Right, don't think. But, but back to what, what that was like for you? Well, the, the crack epidemic hit the uh, it, it hit, hit the city, you know what I'm saying, about 85. The reason I know is because Drew said hikes hype folks, in our day. <laughs> folk, folks was folks folks were using in my house. 
You right. know what I'm saying? Particular individuals were using in my house. Right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I seen, like, bro, that's it, it destroyed my family. Right. So I know it destroyed a lot of other black families, mm -hmm. like millions of black families across the country. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it destroyed my family. Uh, uh, I was. You remember I was in a boys' home. That was cause right. of crack. That was cause of crack, bro. Uh, right, right. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was in a boys' home, but when I go outside, like <coughs> my mom's is using. Look, right. one day I'm with my friends. Right. We on Bishop. I don't remember who was with. Us. Right. And I said, um. I know where this bike at. And they like, uh, where? So I took them like on 62nd and Green. Right. And bro, I went in my house. I went in the house. Right. Drew might have been with me. He probably right. probably been one of the group. But we went over there. And as soon as we walked, cause the door was open. And I knew my right. mama hung out at this house. Right. Because I've been in there before and I seen that bike right there. Right. As soon as I opened the door. I open the door and I look in there. I see my mama and her friend sitting at the table. Right. And my mama got her arm wrapped up. Right. And her friend is sitting over her with a needle. Wow. They about to walk in, but I tell them to stop. Right. Stop. Because I ain't want them to see that. Right. So they bagging out. I just grabbed a bike and just slid up out of there and jumped on the bike and rolled off. And while I'm riding, while we all here, yeah, we got the bike. We riding back towards Bishop. Right. I'm thinking in my head, like, man, what did I just see, man? You know what I'm saying? Right. Which was some stuff. But this happened like in 89, so I kind of skipped. Right. But coming outside as a kid, when your parents are, are, are indulging, right. you don't have nothing but your siblings. Right. Uh, See, your, your parents probably like, Beach, you want some Jordans? Okay, we're going to buy you some Jordans. No. No. It wasn't there. No. Never never have. My first pair of Jordans came from a hand-me-down for my brother. And that's because he sold drugs. Wow. Feel what I'm saying? A hand-me-down. Right. So, you... You're like we're going 59. You'll see all the all, all all the dope dealers. Everybody fresh, right? Everybody clean, and that's right. how I always wanted to be. You know what I'm saying? And that 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 is still embedded in me. But you know, I, I make my money the legal way. Right. Feel what right. I'm saying? But that that whole thing is still embedded in me, just because that's how I grew up. That's what that's what I was seeing. Man, you know I definitely um. It's like it, 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 it's crazy. It's kind of like I want to say my 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 brothers, cousins, my family. Period. They did their best to shelter me from the crack thing, so they didn't want me hustling. They wanted me, so it was like I was gonna get it regardless. Once my mama got somebody was gonna buy me some shoes or something. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was gonna. <laughs> I was going to catch Dinky going to um, Jewtown or something. I was going to get something, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, uh, but but at the same time, see, everybody trying to get, get like, they had such a hard, hard time coming up to be on here and all this stuff. Like, I don't have to do that, man. I had it pretty good. And it's like, I still was in the hood, though. I feel like, we didn't even have to be. I think my mom and dad just stayed in the hood. Just stayed be, in the hood just to, to be there. To be close to my to my grandmama and my cousins and them. And it's just like, but to be around y'all, it made me just want to go out and get it because that's what y'all would, that, that's just the attitude. That's the attitude y'all had. Like, like, no, nah, it ain't no choice with this. This got to be, this got to be, be done. done you know what I'm saying? It's like, Bro, I, I hey, bro, you got to think of this. There's some kids 10, 11 years old out 1, 2 in the morning 
They parents got to be on some crack, man. Because ain't no responsible parent that's going to allow your 10, 11 year old to be out. And no one, and we not snuck out. We didn't sneak out. We just walked out the front door. You know, you know what worked. You know what worked for me. Why, why, it was Bishop over Winchester for me. Because, like you said, at home, first of all, I just hated my daddy guts because he was always at home because he worked third shift. So he at home all day. So I can't do nothing because people go, like, I go take your daddy. I go take. So when he finally leaving, it's like eleven o'clock. I gotta be in the house. Like he up looking, right. hey, who here? <laughs> he doing the check. So, but now when I go on Bishop, it's a different story because it's about I don't know two hundred people living in one house. They don't even know if I'm there or not. So it's right. like that's why it was easy for me to do what y'all was doing because nobody was really nobody really keeping up with what I'm doing. Like. We was having whole sessions right in the backyard. All somebody had to do was look out the yard like, Beach, what is your, your friend? Like but like I said, they let us be on the porch 50 deep. They didn't even care. They didn't even notice we was out there. So it's like my my grandma crib was more like the party house, man. And that's, that's how I was able to be able, like you say, it's like, it, it's crazy. Because that's what y'all had to, some of us, that's what some of y'all had to do. And that's just what I was doing. Cause that's right. what the homies was doing. The only time, yeah. honestly, the only time, like any of my, cause you know I had people in my family that was getting high and stuff too. But the only time I really felt bad, me and um, one of two of our other close friends, the ones that lived on uh, another one, another nut at the crew, the one that lived on Fifty Sixth Street with the big brother who was cool. Me and uh, we over his crib, you know. I gotta, I gotta, uh, you know. We grown now. I got the, I got the package now. I'm like, hey man, let's back it up, get to work. So and so and so. What's so crazy? Hey, I got it from the vice lords on Damon too. All right, but I'm like, uh, let's get to work. So the homie mama is there, and she like, hey, now leave that plate. Uh, give me. Like, and he's like, hey, Ma, get out of here. Beats us here. And she's like, so I don't care about him. And he's like, no, 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 no. I don't care what you're doing in front of these other dudes. You ain't finna do it in front of Beats. So um, he, I, I talked to him about it, man. And he just straight up talked. I talked to him about it when it was just me and him because another one of our homies was there. He's like, no, nah, man. This life ain't even for you, dog. I don't even know why you come around here. He like you got a you got ways out, and you don't even take them. And I'm like, whoa! It's like now that I'm looking back at all that stuff, that's why I have so much love for them dudes over there, because everybody just always cared about my well being. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that 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 was it, man. That was well. I mean. <clears throat> you gotta and since we talking about the crack epidemic you gotta realize and talk about the money that was made too because people don't believe me bro when I tell folk that we made and I'm gonna say we <laughs> don't put don't Y'all, okay. You're I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, we because <laughs> I was a part of that. Go ahead. We made over a hundred thousand dollars a day. Well, see that this bishop was doing about fifteen a day, thousand. Yes, Ada, sir. about thirty. Well, you know, you know, you, you know what Dinky 50. told me. You know what Dinky told me. He said, like, "Man, you gotta think. We was turning the set was turning in two fifty a week." He said, like, "So you know how much money was through the set?" It's like we had turned in two fifty. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, "Wow, you know." So two hundred and fifty, right? Right, a week, but but right. every but they keeping the rest of the money to do whatever going on. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of money through that man. It's just. It's just really amazing. 
You hey, know? is that is one thing? Is one thing I know is it was so much money through there. It was so many rich individuals through there. Mm -hmm. But they weren't spreading that love, man. They kept everybody at a standstill. One, one you know spread, what I'm saying? Like, they weren't spreading that love. They weren't spreading that love, man. Yeah, but you can't spread that love. You can't spread the love, you, you yeah. spread the love when, uh, when there's so many people. Hold on, man. I got to show the world something. Bring, bring me him. Bring me him. Bring me him. I got to show the world something, man. I know I, I, know I act real tough. dog man. crying for you, man. I know I act real tough, man. But I don't do pit bulls, man. I take my chihuahua everywhere I go. Say, say <laughs> <I do. laughs> yeah, y'all yeah, know. So, hey, man, he be with me, man. He be with hey, me. And he named that dog Gangster. <laughs> he Gangster, you know. He just he named hey, a dog he, Gangster, man. No, nah, that's Studio. That's okay. Studio, you know. But, yeah, man. We um we get to the end, man. It's another good one, man. We we finna come with um we finna start coming with some major, man. I, I think I think I think they believe what's going on right here, man. Let's uh let's go through the comments one more time before we get up out of here though. Hold on. Mercy, what's up with you? Hold on, I'm gonna go back, make sure I don't miss nobody. Yeah, Drew say similar stories uh, about the crack in his house on Loomis. Yeah. I had a great childhood, both parents. You did, Drew. I remember both of your parents. Yeah. We just, I remember you. Just, hey, Drew, I remember you you, you, you. you stole them joints from your old man, and, <laughs> and, and, we, and we went out playing cowboys and Indians. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, baby. Yeah, man. I think somebody stole one of them. Stole one of them too. I don't know, man. I, I just it, it's like you never know that stuff be the greatest time of your life when you're doing it, man. You know, like sometimes, like I, I ain't gonna lie, I can't speak for you, speak for nobody else, but. God could take me today. I, I did everything I wanted to do, man. I, it's just unbelievable, man. I just sit back and look sometimes, and I'm like, man, I really, I really told y'all what I was what I was gonna do. <laughs> Whether y'all didn't want to do it or believe it or not, or got it straight, I just stayed at it, man. I just stayed at it, man. And hey, I, I'm just glad I, 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 I'm glad I took the ride. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, but you, hey, uh, it's so much, you know, I, I think I can write a, uh, an encyclopedia, man. I got so much stuff in my head. You know what I'm saying? Just from being in the hood, because for real, because every night was like a movie. <laughs> every night. Every day was, was a whole movie, a, a different movie. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? But, but oh, I'm gonna man, tell you, man, we, 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 we got something in store for y'all, though. So just, I'm going to tell you something, though. I, 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 I'm, I'm getting off of here feeling different now, man. Because one thing I did see that the OGs in the hood did for us in the neighborhood did, I see so many people that just don't really understand how to be a man sometimes. It's like, I see people like, man, you need to get hit in your mouth. Like, you should have got hit in your Like, I would have got hit in my mouth for that. I wouldn't have been able to come out the house. I would have been getting jumped for acting like how you act right now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so I guess it ain't, guess it ain't bad as it thought, but you know, we get to the end. Got to shout out our sponsors, HHQ Magazine, Deli Dale Private Stocks Champagne, and y'all know how yes, it goes. Sir. What's the hood? Inga. <laughs> Inglewood. You did. Hey, I thought you was going to come behind me, man. You know, 
No, I just, I just. Sorry, right. it's okay. We, 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 we still got, we still got the best I'm, chemistry. I'm just so. making sure you ain't go Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hollywood, man. No, nah, I can't go Hollywood, man. Hollywood. Nothing but love, everybody. Don't forget, hit that Salute, like, man. hit that share, do it all. We out.